She took up cricket only six years ago, but Nandumiso in Shangase is taking the world by storm. Why? Well, she's in India with the Proteus team, and uh, we can expect really big things from her. Nandu, good to chat to you. Thanks so much for your time on G Sport. All right, thank you. Where did it all start for you? Because in six years, things have radically changed in your life. Yeah, it really did. Um, I started cricket um, while looking at my brother. He always goes and, and play in every Sundays and then in December there were like weeks he usually go and then I was like you know I want to go I also want to go and then I joined him and then um, it, it was like June I started going with him and then uh, at when I think June, maybe August 2013 they introduced me to um, to women's coach because we didn't, they didn't have um, women in our area, and then they introduced me to to Sandile Songwa. Yeah. He was the, he's the coach, he's my coach, my club coach, and then um, I worked with him, and then he take me to the under 19 trials that year, 2013, and then um, I made it from there, uh, under 19, uh, and then from there I worked with Dinesha, and then until now. What I love about how you have progressed is that you're an all-rounder, you've already scored a century at interprovincial level, and you're a leader, you're the captain of your club, you're the captain of the domestic limited overs, a team for KZN Coastal. Have you always been so talented in terms of sport? Um, I don't know really, but I was playing netball before I joined, um, before I joined cricket and then lady soccer. Yeah, I remember the day I, I, I told my coach that I'm leaving soccer because I'm going to play cricket now. He said, <laughs> he said, no, there is no ladies cricket here in South Africa. And what is and he saying now? Like now, he's speechless. He yeah. is speechless. I'm sure he is. But listen, I'm so proud of it because if you think about how quickly you have risen, and yet there's still so much to come from you. The other day, you were brought into the attack in the 18th over. You took two wickets and three deliveries in the T20 International. What did it feel like playing in front of that capacity card in Surat? Yo, uh, at first, because we started, um, when? Um, but, okay. Um, we started playing our first T20 and then we were like, uh, the crowd. Oh, but then, by the time goes, we realized that um, the, then they like they they are they are there to cheer all of us, not yes. like they they there for India women, because uh, even even if we do the good things, they also cheer. Like even mm. if we, we hit a four, they'll be like, yes, yeah. They so appreciate good they cricket. Are, yes, yes. They they there to watch cricket. So yeah, I was I wasn't scared that day. I was like fine, relax. I said, okay, fine, let me wait for my turn to come, because um, I was waiting and waiting and waiting to ball, but then, yeah. And then by the time my captain called me, I was like, okay, let me go. Do Let's this do it. Yeah. How did you uh, learn to develop your bowling style? Who do you mould yourself on? Um, my coach, Dinesha, was the one that uh, really helped me with uh, my bowling, because uh, by, by 20, at 2013, by the time I went for the ten trials, I wasn't bowling at all, like I was only betting. Yes. And then she asked me, uh, do you bowl? I said, no, I'm not bowling, I'm only betting. And then she said, uh, take a ball there and then go there and then bowl. And then, I bowl. And then wow. from there, uh, things became more easy because she was... Uh, what do you like more, batting or bowling? Uh, I, like, I, like, I like both. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I like both. I don't know. Maybe it's because in some of the days one goes well and then one goes wrong and then vice versa. And it helps to be multi-skilled, right, in this yeah. environment. What are your big dreams for yourself in cricket? It's to become um, one of the best in the world. Yeah. And where would you like to go play cricket? Because, I mean, there are leagues around the world. You've got Australia, you've got England. Hopefully South Africa gets a big women's league coming soon. What's your dreams in terms of the leagues? Um, it's... Because I never, I never like went outside South Africa. This was my first one, and it, I don't really know much about the countries. Mm. So I think you'll grab the opportunity I'll, when it comes. Uh, yeah, when it comes, I'll grab it. 
What is your advice for young girls, particularly young girls who don't have the opportunities and you got the opportunity to get to where you are? What would you like to say to them? I'll say they must keep on doing what they do best. They mustn't, um, they mustn't, they mustn't do the bad things. Yeah. They know what the bad things. Yeah. So they mustn't do the bad things. They must keep on listening to elders and keep on going. Who are your cricketing heroes away from Dinesha? I know you mentioned Dinesha, but there are people in your team. You've got real legends in your team. Who are those that stand up for you? Um, <laughs> I don't like this question, but um, by choosing, but they're, they're all the best. Yeah. They're all the best. It's a good uh, team, isn't it? Yeah, it is a good team. It is a good team. They're really motivating. Like, um, like my friend Dumi, yeah. she's she's the best. She, she's she incredible, always, isn't like, she? Yeah, she is. She always um she she always sees me when I'm down. Like yes. when I'm not okay, she's the only one that sees that. But but then um all of them. Yeah. I like all of them. You're still Even young in the did. team as well, and I think yeah. the idea now is for you to grow and get better, and hopefully many more international tours to come. Yes. Don Dumisa Shangase talking to us on G Sport. I mean, it's her first international trip, and already she's standing head and shoulders above what she ever thought she would achieve. We look forward to more great things from her.